Valhalla Room Reverb is a stereo algorithmic reverb featuring 12 algorithms that produce a wide range of effects, from tight ambiances to huge modulated spaces, and it's a great deal at only $50. Let's check out some of the architecture of the plugin, which is divided into several discrete sections. The sliders on the left have the most immediate and dramatic effect on the sound. The mix slider controls the balance of the dry signal to the wet reverb signal and percentages. If I choose a random preset and play a note on a synth being run through the Valhalla, you can hear what I'm talking about. This is what it sounds like with no signal. And now all the way up to 100%. Pre-delay delays the onset of the early and late reverb settings to the right. The parameter basically sets the size of the room. It can be described as the time that passes before the first reverb reflections are audible. All the way up to 100% would simulate something like a huge cavern. Lower settings can add clarity and presence to the sound. The decay accounts for the late reverberation. Here, it's based on the mid-frequencies of the sound. To further dial in the higher and lower frequencies of the decay, use the bass multiplier and the high multiplier controls in the late section. The high cut simply controls the cutoff frequency of the low-pass filter. More detailed info can be found in Valhalla's documentation, but you can hear it filtering the sound as I lower the high cut. The depth slider controls the mix between the early and late reverb settings. When set to 0%, the signal is only coming from the early reverb, and conversely, at 100%, the signal is only coming from the late reverb settings. Valhalla Room has basically two separate sections for the control of the reverb, the early and the late. As mentioned a moment ago, the early section can be heard in isolation with the depth slider set to 0%. Be sure to check out the documentation for more info on how each parameter in the early section can affect the sound. Clicking the Late button will access the Late controls, and by increasing the percentage on the depth slider, you can hear how the Late controls affect the sound. What sets Valhalla Room apart from many other digital reverbs is the fact that it provides 12 reverberation algorithms to choose from. Clicking on the Reverb Mode box displays a drop-down where you can select which one you want to load, and then a panel will appear just below describing the algorithm's attributes. RUM provides a plethora of presets to choose from that you can further tweak and save as new presets. Each preset is tied to a specific reverb mode, which will change depending on the individual preset. Next, let's look at some different scenarios where we can use Valhalla RUM. Using RUM on vocals is a great idea, and you can really get some silky sounds out of it. and you can experiment with using it on instruments until you find something you like. For more information on how to use Valhalla Room for optimal performance, be sure to refer to the Tips and Tricks section on their website at www.valhalladsp.com. And please support Noisebox Research by subscribing to our channel. Thanks for watching.